يا رحمة الله الواسعة ويا باب نجاة الأمة ويا عبرة كل مؤمن ومؤمنة يا ليتنا كنا معكم سادتي فنفوز فوزا عظيما أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل إن كنتم تحبون الله فاتبعوني يحببكم الله فاتبعوني يحببكم الله ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم والله غفور رحيم قل أطيعوا الله والرسول فإن تولوا فإن الله لا يحب الكافرين إن الله اصطفى آدم ونوحا وآل إبراهيم وآل عمران على العالمين ذرية بعضها من بعض والله سميع عليم Refresh your minds and your hearts and your sessions with a loud salawat for Muhammad and Ali Muhammad. <clears throat> One of the major causes of human sufferings that is a prevalent in our societies, in particular among the young generation, the youth, is the development of emotional attachment to the opposite gender. The intergender feelings, in a simple word, falling in love with the opposite gender and not being able to control it or to deal with it or to handle it. Because there is incompatibility between the two feelings of the people involved. When the feelings and the emotions and the love is incompatible, one of them loves more, the other loves less. One of them is committed to his love and to this relationship, the other is not committed. Or there is no future in this relationship. Many types of romantic relationship, love relationship, human relationships that has no future and bears no fruit but suffering and pain, unbearable pain. You can feel that, the pain in your heart. Not only the pain. In most cases, this failing condition is going to result in a chronic sadness, in chronic depression and many people contemplate of committing suicide you know in the in only the United States of America in this country every year we have 800,000 people 800,000 people who attempt to commit suicide in America and many of them succeed in killing themselves as a result of this emotional collapse Emotional setback, emotional disappointment. How many people you know and I know 
that killed themselves because they were unsuccessful in marrying this person or being with that person. Because the relationship was incompatible. It's not equal. They are not on the same page. On the other hand, the healthy relationship, the sound and healthy love does not bear any pain, does not have any suffering. Yes, it entails some deep connection, deep affection, attachment. It entails longing, constantly thinking of the other side. But it does not have any pain does not have any pain because your heart needs to be loved. Your heart needs to be loving. It gives food and nourishment to your heart and to your emotional system. Because in Islam, we consider love, true love, the love of the right person and the right object. That type of love breeds cure and remedy to your heart. And you need to engage your heart with the right type of love, with the healthy type of love. Without it, you cannot survive. Without it, you cannot even be a human being. Without it, you cannot even be an animal. God created your, your heart to be the center of affection and love and care and compassion. So you cannot empty your heart from love. In order for you to survive, to lead a healthy life, progressive life, you have to love. But you have to love the right thing. The blemished and the tainted love carries with it a lot of suffering, a lot of pain. Breeds pain because that Relationship is not a sound relationship, is not a healthy relationship. That relationship is unhealthy, unbalanced. Something wrong. When there is something wrong in a human relationship, in your relationship with the opposite gender, be it your partner, be it your fiance, be it your friend, a basic ingredient is missing. And this relationship is going to be counterproductive. It's not going to be healthy. You are not going to enjoy this love relationship. You are going to suffer as a result of that. And the suffering is going to be immense. And here I want you to pay attention to the significance of love and compassion in our life. Emotions and love and affection is God-given gift to the humanity. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created love and has given us love as an amana, as a trust, to build ourselves with it, to protect ourselves with it, to shield ourselves with it, to nurture and nourish ourselves, not to destroy ourselves with this love. Love is not the means, it's not supposed to be when God created love. And God engendered your hearts with love and affection. There was something important in his mind. On his mind was something very important. God wanted you to enjoy this relationship. God wanted you to nurture yourself and grow up. God did not want to, this relationship or this love to be a burden on you. It was not supposed to be a burden. It's supposed to be credit for you, a help, an aid to get you going, to get you always excited about this life, always optimistic about your future. This is why God created love. It was not on His mind that this love is going to destroy your life one day. It was not his intention that this relationship, this love romantic relationship is supposed to destroy you and get you confused and lost and live in a perpetual state of sadness, anxiety. That was not his intention. 
You know what philosophers say about love? They say that by merely loving someone, by merely exercising love, someone who is the right, right person, not the wrong person. And one day I'm going to explain to you who is the right person and who is the wrong person. In fact, I think in the previous two years, when I spoke about the institution of marriage and family, I touched upon this subject that who should you marry? Not any person. Not any person is a candidate.